One high point of the recent meeting at the World Economic Forum in South Africa was the private sector drive and the pool of money that exists in between private sector groups in Africa. CNBC Africa's Godfrey Mutizwe caught up with Carlos Lopez, who's Executive Secretary at the Economic Commission for Africa, for more. The realization is that uh, we are over the development aid time. And uh, there is now interest by the markets on what is happening in the continent. Yeah. And one of the possibilities, of course, private equity. Uh, we are way below the potential for private equity interest in the continent. Right. And when you discuss, as we did, with the groups that are really most active in the field, they confess themselves yeah. that they are just the front runners of something that may be big. Like, for instance, we have not yet uh, mobilized the pension funds. We have not yet mobilized a number of very interested parties that yeah. are just discovering the continent. Right. So this meeting was to sort of identify the main entry points for us to have a big initiative on mobilizing private equity right. that would like to present to the African Union heads of state meeting that is going to take place in Addis Ababa in January next uh, okay. year. And we hope that through that task force, we are going to complete the work that yeah. is being done on mobilizing extra resources for the continent. What was your sense about the level of interest that you saw there? Well, uh, basically, we, we met uh, people that are already active. So right. their interest is pretty, The believers already. It's pretty clear. Yeah. But what they uh, helped us uh, chart was uh, the, the road to mobilize more not just from the groups they represent, but also from other possible interested parties. Yeah. So you have been meeting various other people here at uh, the, the World Economic Forum. And of course, as UNECA, you work with the World, World Economic Forum. Just give us a sense of some of the projects that you've been working on and what you have advanced here. Well, here it's a very important opportunity for networking, as mm -hmm. uh, everybody knows. But uh, networking for networking's sake uh, yeah. doesn't get us anywhere. We always so we say have it's to talk have, shops. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a very pointed uh, and focused uh, interest in yeah. a certain number of issues, yeah. private equity being one. Another one was the discussion about what is going to be the replacement of the Millennium Development Goals Framework. The, the agenda United post-2015. As uh, promoted, there was a very high-level discussion on that. And uh, a lot of discussions about trade and uh, how regional integration has to move from a political, emotional type of discussion yeah. to a more technical and practical discussion. Yeah, yeah. And identifying where are the regions that are making most progress in terms of uh, regional integration. But importantly, which ones are not making progress? And Southern Africa, where we sit, is practically one of them. Well, uh, to a certain extent, but you can say that with SACO, yeah. the, 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 you already have a customs union. You have a certain degree of integration. Our big brother integration. dishing it out to the rest <laughs> of the smaller boy. <laughs> but I think uh, one, one interesting uh, aspect for us is to try to pressurize the political establishment yeah. to move in this direction. Ah, and finally. We have, we have a tool to do it which is the launching uh, next year of a regional integration index okay. that will rank countries in terms of their contribution yeah. to regional integration. So you'll be able to see who are the good boys and who are, who are not doing uh, what is needed. Talk to and me about it. So when are you launching it and who are you targeting and how do you tend the screw if they don't perform? Well, uh, I think uh, tending the screw is not really uh, something that you we can do, that do on our own. <laughs> But it is clear that by just ranking the countries yeah. you, and naming and shaming those yeah. who are not contributing, yeah. you are going to be able to create a, a political discussion okay. of a completely different level from the one we have, where everybody can get away with just uh, rhetoric. What's the criteria then? What will you the criteria measuring? is precisely what we are now uh, establishing. Uh, you know, a lot of the criteria is related to uh, the issues that normally are important yeah. on regional integration, like you know, your contribution to trade, uh, your contribution to facilitation uh, of trade. Your That's border movement and the goods flow yes, and this kind of thing. Yes, but regulatory systems, uh, how you adhere to the common uh, rules of origin, uh, making sure, for instance, that you contribute your part on the infrastructure yeah. uh, developments that are going to integrate the continent, yeah. the issues uh, of integration of currency and so on. So there are a number of elements that are going to be uh, taken into account. You have to go for those for which you have comparable data yeah. because otherwise yeah. it will not be credible. For sure.